Welcome to Russian Made Easy with Mark Thompson. Mark has been teaching students from all over the world to quickly and easily speak Russian. And now, here's Mark. All right, welcome to podcast number five. Before doing our review, let's add one new occupation, which is basically a cognate. Listen and repeat. Advocat. Advocat. So, what kind of occupation is an advocat? Well, when the police arrest a suspect in the U.S., they must inform him that he has the right to remain silent and that he has the right to hire an advocat. To put it another way, the person you hire to represent you in court is called your advocat. So, advocat is the Russian word for lawyer. It sounds like advocate, which is what a lawyer is, right? He's an advocate for your rights and your side of the story. Just note how the emphasis is on the end of the word, advocat. Say, my dad is a lawyer. Мой папа – адвокат. All right, now let's do some review. What Russian word do we use to greet people? Здравствуйте. Say, my name is George. Меня зовут Джордж. Ask someone, and what's your name? А как вас зовут? Say, this is my dad. He's a lawyer. Это мой папа. Он адвокат. Try this one. It's a little bit longer. My dad is an American, whereas my mom is an Englishwoman. Мой папа Американец, а моя мама – англичанка. This is my friend. He's an Australian. Это мой друг. Он австралиец. This is my female friend. She's an American. Это моя подруга. Она американка. All right, in this podcast, we'll be learning two question words. Here's the first one. Repeat after the speaker. Кто? One more time. Кто? So imagine I'm showing my Russian friend Natasha some photos of my friends and family on Facebook. Can you get the meaning of Кто? from our short conversation? I point to a family photo and say, Это я. А кто это? Это моя мама. I then show her the next photo of me and some friends. Natasha asks, Это твой друг Джейсон, да? Да, это Джейсон. Mm -hmm. А кто это? Это моя подруга Нэнси. So what is she asking when she says, А кто это? She's asking, and who's this? So, Кто? Is one of the Russian words for who? The word is spelled with just three letters, a K, a T, and an O. Кто? So ask someone, who is this? Кто это? As we did in the last podcast, I want to show you how that little word, а, works in Russian. Imagine my friend is looking at my photos on Facebook. He points to someone and asks, Кто это? Твой друг Steve, да? Да, это Стив. А кто это? See how we used а ah to set up a contrasting question? The actual literal meaning of а ah in this context is along the lines of 
Having processed what you just said, I'd now like to ask the following. I don't mean to make a big deal out of such a little word, but you'll hear it all the time, so I just want you to really grasp it. So ask your friend, who is this? Your mom, yes? Кто это? Твоя мама, да? She answers that, yes, it's her mom. So now follow that up by asking, and who is this? Your dad? А кто это? Твой папа. Did you add the а uh sound at the beginning? This is a good point to talk about word order, which is quite a bit more flexible in Russian than it is in English. For example, we might have phrased that last question this way. А это кто? And this is who. By putting the question word last, we're placing more emphasis on it. Again, word order is one of the things I'll be pointing out as we go. Now let's try our other question word for this episode. Repeat after the speaker. Что? And again. Что? So for this one, imagine you're at a Russian friend's house for dinner. Now you know darn well that the soup you've just been served is borscht, but you want to practice asking questions, so you point to the soup and ask your friend Tanya. Tanya, что это? Это борщ. Then Uncle Tolik pours a clear liquid into your shot glass. Ask him. Эй, hey, Tolik, что это? Это водка. So, что is one of the Russian words for what. Что? Now you ask, what is this? Что это? She tells you it's borscht, and then, pointing to the dish of red fish eggs that she just gave you, follow up with, and what's this? А что это? Did you add the а ah at the beginning? Anyway, she points to the red fish eggs and tells you, Это икра. So, икра is the Russian word for caviar. And that's why our question phrase is so useful, because we can use it to learn lots of new words, kind of on location. So, let's repeat the word for caviar one more time. Икра. And now, here's your tip of the day from Russian Made Easy. Now, here's a cool way to remember the word икра. Imagine you don't like caviar, and yet someone just served you some. You kind of freak out and say, Eek raw fish eggs. Say that again. Eek raw fish eggs. Do you get it? That phrase has the sound of икра hidden in it. Eek raw gives us икра. I call that kind of mnemonic device a power phrase, and they're a great tool for quickly memorizing a ton of words. When I was first learning Russian, I made a power phrase for just about every new word I learned. It's amazing how much you can remember that way. And I use those same ones in our Russian Accelerator videos, along with funny pictures to really drive home each phrase. The visual part is really important, and it's a limitation of an audio-only format, because you really want to associate an image with each power phrase that helps to make it memorable. These kinds of mnemonic devices are used by all memory experts and advanced language students. Ask anyone who's learned a second or third language quickly, and they'll admit they use these kinds of memorable phrases to help them recall words. All right, let's get back to our lesson today. So, pretend your Russian friend is showing you a picture of himself sitting in a restaurant across from two men wearing suits. Point to the older man in the picture and ask, who is that? Кто это? How will your friend reply, this is my lawyer? 
Это мой адвокат. Then point to the other man and ask, and who is this? А кто это? He answers, this is my friend Pavel. He is a businessman. Это мой друг Павел. Он бизнесмен. Then point to the bottle of alcohol in the photo and ask, what's that? Что это? Listen to his answer. Это виски. And so, with that что это question, we learned another easy word. We say whiskey, and in Russian it's виски with a v. Listen. Виски. So just one last new word to look at today, and you probably already know it, but I just need to make sure. Try saying... Нет. That beginning sound is like from the middle of the word onion, the, that transition, нин, onion, нет. Нет. If you know the meaning of this word, say, да, I know it. If you don't, then say, нет, I don't know it. So, да and нет are opposites. Да means yes and нет means no. Let's work with it a little bit. Imagine showing a picture of your friend Kevin to your Russian girlfriend. She asks, Это Джон? Tell her, no, this is Kevin. Нет. Это Кевин. She asks, is he a businessman? Он бизнесмен? Tell her, no, he's an engineer. Нет, он инженер. Not that you could ever mistake one for the other, but point to the filled shot glass in front of you and ask, what is this, vodka? Что это? Водка? How will the person tell you, no, this is whiskey? Нет. Это виски. In the next episode, we'll learn how to order food and drinks, which is certainly a useful thing to know, and we'll learn how to develop fluency in Russian. Because, yes, even beginners should be working towards fluency right from the start, and I'll show you how in the next episode. Meanwhile, head over to RussianMadeEasy.com for today's downloads. This has been another episode of Russian Made Easy with Mark Thompson. For more time-saving tips and shortcuts for learning Russian, head over to RussianMadeEasy.com. Russian Made Easy.